Good morning, this is Irish Coffee. This is Andrew Johnston and I'm Dan Griffin and we're over at the Starry Night Cafe here with beautiful Jackie. Allie Rose is not here yet today. Over in Belmar, New Jersey. Cheers to Belmar, New Jersey. Cheers to Belmar, New Second Jersey. Second week in a row we've been filming here. And uh, see what we get here. Yeah, just uh, having sitting down and having a nice cup of Irish coffee on the weekend here. And we're going to be talking about uh, our week and uh, what we're doing this weekend and all that stuff. Glad to have you guys here. So Dan, what, uh, what's new this week? What's new in uh, the film business? What's new, uh, what's new with your career this week? Well, it's been a pretty special week. Um, uh, Scott Alvarez and Alan Jacob just launched uh, Down for Life over in El Paso, Texas last night. We're kind of doing it like uh, how Precious did it with their uh, distribution. We're going to a lot. It's a movie about the uh, Latino, Hispanic, female Latino gangs in LA. Yeah. And we're hitting a lot of the Latino areas. Who's, in, who's in that movie? A lot of great people, man. We got uh, Danny Glover, we got Laz Alonzo, we've got Snoop Dogg. Elizabeth Pena, Kate DiCastillo, a lot of good people, man. Yeah, man, tell me about the, uh, the marketing for that one. I thought that was cool. <clears throat> yeah, we've got uh, my buddy Marcellus Jones got um, Anthony Honeycutt, and he is like the king of marketing. Um, he did stuff for Transformers, he did stuff for Fast and Furious, Star Wars, Star Trek. So he's setting this up. A lot like they are, like I said, precious. They're hitting it piece by piece, but he's going to be getting us onto the side of uh, onto the side of one of the NASCARs. They're one of the big races, and yeah, and cool. he's getting us all that's over awesome. the place. It's going to be yeah, good stuff. It's a good film too. I've seen the film. Yeah, stuff. definitely. Definitely check that one out when it when it comes out. Uh, I don't know. I uh, supposed to be editing my film this weekend. Uh, I'm supposed to be start ed starting editing with uh, my editor uh, Bill Clark, who uh, is from NBC. Nice, uh, nice. So yeah, good guy. He's been started. working out a lot. Sitting, uh, about to start sit, uh, sitting down and uh, editing that one, which is going to be pretty cool. And, uh, cool. Is that yeah, the beer pond? That is the beer pond. Uh, nice. Beer pond film. I think I'm the first person ever to make a, uh, a short film about beer pong, so that should be pretty interesting. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so uh, that, and uh, I was on the set again with, of uh, Swag yesterday with uh, Steve Bucarelli. Uh, we were actually, it was a writer's meeting, which was, uh, right. which was pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, they just they just seem to be a really uh, cohesive uh, cohesive unit, and uh, Steve is is uh, he's really serious. He's really pushing this, and uh, nice. you know they got some really good ideas. So what did you guys discuss? Well, just uh, the one thing that I was interested by is he's gonna release this. Uh, he's gonna release a forty five minute episode all at once, which uh, you know is is to me. Uh, you know maybe I you know I would I would suggest to maybe breaking it up a little bit more, but you know he. Uh, he just wants to push it out all at once like this, and you know I just think that if the content's good, it probably doesn't. You know uh, the format doesn't matter even too much, but uh, the, you know the, you got a lot of people, uh, a lot of people throwing in their their best work with this one. He's doing a uh, cool. he's doing the, uh, the 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 marijuana bakery or something like that on uh, on uh, on Sunday, which is uh, going to be pretty funny. He's, uh, it's just like the the pot chef. Is uh, the pot chef segment, which oh, is yeah? going to be pretty funny. They're shooting that on Sunday, hmm. and uh, it's just like all these, uh, you know, like uh, marijuana goodies or whatever. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's going to be a segment for all the uh, like all the out there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, that should be pretty funny. But uh, yeah, so uh, what are you doing this weekend? This weekend is a busy weekend, actually. Uh, when we're done with this, I'm running right over to Ocean Grove. We're going to be filming uh, and actually setting up the film. We're not filming today. We're going through the locations and everything for those DVDs that I'm doing with Seafood Derek. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. The Kung Fu DVDs? Yeah, yeah, with the Grace Temple Center. I always wanted to learn Kung Fu, man, honestly, just because, like, I got I to gotta get back in shape, but, like, I don't want to, like, be, like, a, you know, like a mindless drone in the gym, just lifting right. weight, you know, just so I, like, pick like, it up and put it down. Pick it up and put it down, yeah, yeah, like, uh, to me, that's, that's just not, I don't know, it's just a, kind of a worthless activity, I think. I, I think, like, learning martial arts or something like that, like, not only does that keep you in shape, but, like, it, you know, it, it, it's got another dimension to it, it's got, like, a functionality to it, you know. Self-defense and stuff. Well, this is yeah, like that's that's pretty cool. I mean, like I really, I, I, I have so much respect for people who are, who are good at that. And I did it as a kid, right? But I was just kind of a lazy middle school asshole, and I just dropped out of it. So yeah, this yeah, is Shaolin, and um, 
It's really good, but we're doing a lot more than just the uh, Kung Fu and everything. These DVDs, actually, instead of um, sitting there and, um, you know, meditating to Buddha and everything, what he's done is he's incorporated Christianity back into it, which is it's very interesting. It's the only time it's ever been done. You know, and these tapes, these DVDs have been pretty incredible. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we do a lot of the, a lot of the word from the Bible as our internal meditation and a lot of the Kung Fu is the extra. Oh, you know, that's cool. It's like the muscle of the spirit and stuff. Yeah, that's really awesome. That's cool. Going up to see a, a show up in Connecticut tonight for uh, Bella. She's an uh, actress. A friend of mine is going to be doing some stuff, so they got me some tickets. So I'm going up to Connecticut. So thank you, Bella and, and Mike. Awesome. What kind of show is that? It's cool. She does a lot of theater stuff. This is one of her theater plays, and her dad actually does a lot of the uh, the um, automobiles for Hollywood, which is kind of cool. He, he's got a lot of his different cars in a lot of different movies and stuff. Oh, very cool. Yeah, that's awesome. good, good people. And then uh, hanging out in Connecticut for the weekend. Sounds like a fun weekend. What are you doing, man? Oh, well, other than editing the film, I'm heading in. I'm heading uh, my friend Willie uh, Willie Nelson. Uh, he is a, he's an artist. He's, uh, his act is called Curls Wilson. Is he Willie Nelson? No, uh, his name is that, but he's a, I don't know if he's oh, named sure with the whole pot thing, you know. Okay. There you go, exactly. But uh, what's it called? He, uh, he's having like a potluck thing for his birthday or whatever, you know, but he's, nice. a, uh, he's a great artist. I was actually uh, out in Philly uh, for uh, the Cheers Elephant album release party uh, last Saturday, actually, after we filmed the uh, first episode. But uh, going out there to see Willie and, uh, you know, a bunch of his uh, Philadelphia friends and all that stuff. You know? Speaking of birthdays, that's the reason I'm wearing this hat today. It's going out to my buddy Kim Wicker, who uh, he bought me this hat. Today's his birthday, so happy birthday, Kim, man. Miss you. Also, uh, of course, watching the Jets, Jets Patriots. Yeah, yeah, we that's right. Now we can go. Now we can really do yeah, like that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be a good game, honestly. I, uh, so we should do a play by play. We should go there. <laughs> I think the Jets got a puncher's chance. You know, I think it's it's uh, they're definitely yeah. underdogs, but uh, I I just think that uh, you never you never doubt as as much as I dislike his style, like. Rex seems to get his team to, to play in the playoffs. So this guy's never quit on them, and uh, you know they really had a great game in uh, against Indy uh, uh, last week. Yeah, Indy so. great last week. Wow. Well, By the way, that was game was awesome. That was an awesome game. That was that was the most watched uh, uh, sporting event or um, TV event in general of the year. That, uh, of the Jets, year? Yep, Jets Indianapolis. This one's probably going to break that, and then it's going to go all the way up to the Super Bowl, which is always. Uh, this is how great the NFL does with ratings. Uh, nine of the ten. Of the last year, nine of the ten uh, best TV events were all NFL football games, and then the the tenth that wasn't an NFL football game was the show that was on after the Super Bowl. So like the NFL, insane what they have going on with, with uh, TV ratings and the money that comes into that league. And amazingly enough, they're gonna fucking strike. You know what I mean? Well, it's amazing. Rest, There's gonna wrestling. be a lockout, or there might not be a season next year. Huh? I always hear professional wrestling still beats Monday Night Football, but. Uh, I guess not the not the big game. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I don't know if you say it. I'm sure it's right. It probably. <laughs> I'm is not right. a 13 year old. It probably is uh, right. You know, I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I don't mean to knock our uh, our audience who watches. No, no, no. Wrestling. No, no. We got a TV show uh, series eventually coming out with. Uh, yeah, you were telling me about the press, press and, and, that, and he always says that. So I'm just I'm just quoting what he always says. <laughs> well, I think if you're in the wrestling business, you're gonna make some stuff up that sounds, sounds good, good about wrestling. Right? Sounds good. <laughs> I like the South Park about that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah but um, what's it called? So right now, I want to get into our segment mm -hmm. where me and Dan, basically, you guys don't know us at all. You know what I mean? We, we this is the second uh, episode we put out on Irish Coffee. Um, basically, uh, we're gonna do a segment. It's called Story Time. So sit down and listen to our story. I want Dan to start it off. It's always we're trying to make it industry related because both of us are going towards film and uh, entertainment industry. So. Uh, I want Dan to tell his story, and I hope he tells the one he was talking to me about uh, before we, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we sat down and turned the camera on. So go ahead. Well, I'll have to tell that. I've got, got too, too many stories, but um, yeah, we are filming on the set of Gattaca, and Andrew Nichols had us in early in the morning. It was the, uh, the space flight story, and we filmed at 4.30, and it was, it was kind of cold, you know, but we got done, and he gave us these little, like, gym mats to sleep on. And one of my buddies was called John. 
And I said, you know what? We should put it behind uh, the heaters where they have the cat, where they have the um, what do you call it? The trailers for the stars. So the heaters will keep us warm. So he slept on one side of the heater, and I slept on the other. And we were partially under one of the trailers. I don't know if it was Ethan's or Uma, Ethan Hawks or Uma Thurman's. I think it was Ethan's actually. So nonetheless. We're on each side and we're sleeping for a couple hours. Sure enough, 9.30 comes and Andrew wakes us up and says, you know, it's time for breakfast. We all get out and he goes, where's Ethan? So Ethan comes right out and he goes, actually, where's Uma? So Uma comes out of the same, same trailer, same trailer okay. yeah. And uh, kind Maybe of- they were just cold. Pull on her, uh, yeah. <laughs> and so she got, uh, she got out there and um, <laughs> I'll keep it clean from there, but as it turns out, a couple weeks later we find out Uma's pregnant with Ethan's baby. So the first phone call I get that morning is from John. He's like, dude, we should be like uncles or something. I mean, we were, we were under their trailer. I mean, we were probably no more than like, if you did it diagonally, we were probably no more than 15 feet away when that happened. I think, Ethan, I think we should be like your godparents or something, you know? Alright, so my story involves now I've not been around in the industry for half or you know quarter as long as Dan has um, you know so I still really get starstruck by you know some certain people that I meet but um, I'm up at NBC editing the, the second film that I made the second version of the second film and uh, I go into the NBC break room to get some uh, to get some uh, you know some food or something um, I go in there and you know they got some good stuff and you know I'm just digging through some croissants and bagels and all that stuff you know like I take like a big bite of something and turn around and who is there none other than the first black coach to win the Super Bowl Tony Dungy living legend mentor to the NFL's disaffected youth cool. you know like this amazing amazing man that like you know like just you know I was I was completely starstruck and not to mention that, I had a mouthful of food. And he was nice. just standing like as close as I am to you right now. Being sprayed on or what? What's up? Being sprayed on or what? Oh, well, I'm sure that there was some Sharing your particles yeah. coming out of it. Uh, you know, what do you say at that point? Hello, Coach Dundee. I'm such a big fan. Yeah, You're right. an incredible person. He's just like, I'm sure he was, you know, he was, he was of course, uh, you know, a, nice and polite as he, he is on TV, you know, I mean, when you watch him on uh, Football Night in America, which is a host on an NBC, um, but, uh, you know, he's a nice dude, but, like, I'm sure, like, when I walked away, like, and went back into the editing suite, like, he was like, I didn't know they were letting crazy people in the NBC now, you know, so, <laughs> I just, it, it was, I, I just felt like that moment, I, I, I felt like how, uh, you know, George Costanza must feel going through life, you know, it's definitely like a, uh, George Costanza moment of mine, which uh, well, they are hiring crazy people at NBC. They took off like half the good shows. Last well, they're going you know. through to the merger now. Uh, Comcast is buying NBC, um, you know, which is definitely uh, I don't think it's a good thing at all, you know. But uh, Comcast, I think we're uh, teaming up with with uh, Family TV Network. Actually. Oh, really? My Family cool. TV Network. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so thanks for sitting with us here in uh, Belmont, New Jersey, at the Starry Night Cafe. Starry Night, I'm Johnson. I'm Dan Griffin. And uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And uh, once again, we'll be back next week. So, cheers. Yeah. Salud. One more time. Salud. 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 Salud.